Hey, good evening, guys. Well, where have I been? A lot of you guys have been asking for an update video, so uh, we're gonna talk about what's happening tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be taking this uh, tin off this uh, building over here. That building's coming down, uh, hopefully here by Saturday. Um, not 100% sure yet, depends on the weather. What did I get myself in tonight? Well, we're working on the grain bins over here. The two little ones. And I'll turn around here and I'll show you what I'm after. All right. So I decided to come over here with the John Deere skid loader and open these up here so we can get some air in them. And all I did was push the forks in and lift them up a little bit. Made some holes so we can go ahead and uh, take these two grain bins down. Now we can work inside here a little bit. And uh, we'll get the impact and start unbolting it around the first ring and then we'll pick it up and lay it over. Same with this one. You can just see I just grabbed it and ripped it open. It's pretty heavy steel, but nothing a deer can handle. So the guys come for scrap, it's all going for scrap metal. And uh, some of you probably will say, well, it was good enough bin to reuse. They're just small bins. I don't know what they'd be, hold a trail load, maybe two trail loads, I'm not sure if that. A small grain so we've been putting a lot of time on the skiller here on the farm tearing things apart I'll walk around here and uh, we laid out the new barn here tonight uh, we're gonna have a crew come in here so this is where we're gonna start right here with the barn 60 feet off the road this will be the front of the barn and it comes up to the top here. It's gonna be a 160 by 75. So come up here and show you what's going on at this end. So this will be the top of the barn here. So 75 feet wide from that mark. And then we'll go down over here 160 feet. I said a lot of you guys said well these are really nice barns or they're really junky they're an awesome barn if you don't need to use them I showed you in there one video a little bit what it looked like inside and just modern day equipment don't fit in very well now you're gonna see some of the items on the farm yet they don't belong to me they go to the guy that was storing them here he's gonna have them out of here by the 18th so this is where the 160 starts, right here. So tomorrow we're going to work on finish taking the cattle uh, stanchions out and then uh, start taking the tin off on Wednesday morning. And me and my boy Justin will start here probably tomorrow on screwing some tin. And uh, just a little bit here, you can see the stuff is getting cut out. The barn's in really rough shape. We could, if this barn was actually usable to park big equipment on it and stuff, we would probably pour a new wall all the way around, put new I-beams underneath here. But it's just not big enough to get the doors in, so. We have a company from Lancaster area coming up to, hopefully can come on with agreement here tomorrow, and uh, they'll come and take it and reuse it for other purposes get up here a little bit you just kind of see the tops all brand new with tin that had a snowstorm away I understand it and crushed it we don't want anybody to come in there and we have one guy that's giving me a hard time and so this is for him this is not the guy that's actually storing stuff it's another guy so he's looking for a one-way ticket to jail I guess uh, for trespassing anyway that's a whole other story so we're going to take the tin off this here this is going to come down first this area and that's a 75 or 70 by uh, 60 and the tin's going to be reused for another project and uh, a little bit what's going on with that you can see the beams are broken there you can see we took the the gutter out already the manure chain and just a little update what's going on 
so we've been busy. I've uh, been getting a lot of rain here in the area. And uh, hopefully the rain will be done here for tomorrow. Put this in here quick. But overall, yeah, it is a very nice barn. It just doesn't meet modern day farming. And what I mean by modern day farming is with equipment's heavier, the tractors were smaller back in those days, um, big and heavy equipment, it's not even good to store hay on there. There used to be two silos here, but uh, but it is, a, it is a nice barn, it's just it's going to be better used, it's too low to get anything underneath it. It does have a brand new roof all the way around stuff so this is my trailer here a lot of you guys remember this trailer is my fuel trailer and moving a ski load around again these tractors here belong to the other guy they should be out of here tomorrow but uh just modern day farming you just you have to go in with the changes of you know life and safety is a big thing uh, that skid loader weighs 11,000 pounds so you don't want to be pulling out on a barn floor of broken beams you go down and get hurt and the grain bins on this side are too small the other ones we're going to work on oh trees are going to come down all the trees on the farm here around the buildings are going to come down uh, these two here maybe be down on Thursday uh, we're going to cut them and just push them over and then carry them down. Pretty much a whole tree with uh, grapple. I bought a grapple here uh, a couple weeks ago, a week ago, I guess. I'm not sure when it was anymore. But, uh, yeah. So we want to get the tin off this side and that side uh, by Wednesday, Thursday. And then start ripping the tin off around the whole front. And like I said, this is where the new building is going to start. Right here. 60 feet off the road and it's going to run 160 feet that way 75 foot wide and then you can back right off the road so that's my little update here uh what's going on hopefully i get some footage of us tearing the bins down tomorrow uh, been having some trouble with my phone and stuff charging and uh um stuff so it's just uh, one of those things but we get these two trees out of the way and that way we can uh come in here with a lift and uh, take down the the trusses the trusses are going to go to another property and maybe the doors and stuff and the rest will get thrown in dumpsters that we don't use so then we have the three bins on the other side and they're probably around 10 and 12 thousand bushel and then probably 11 or 12 is a dryer from uh, upright dryer those are really nice uh, we'll go ahead and fix up some of the motors and stuff and then we'll be ready to fill grain in those we'll have to buy a great uh, auger until we decide if we're gonna put a leg up or uh, but that's down the road a little bit crops look really nice through the area here again the crops are not mine they're another guy two guys are working with me here are taking care of them for me uh, that allows me to give time to uh, do all this construction work these trees have to come down power lines go right through them uh, in the winter time we get high snow or heavy snows and stuff they blow this road shut so that's going to be fun uh, new experience so we want to take those three trees down uh, just because they're going through the power lines so we don't want to lose any extra power uh, try to get the power company to take well they have three of them total for me yet but our power goes through there uh, we were down to the old farm and took all my power boxes out I'll just try to throw a little clip in here at the end um, so we have we brought all the power boxes off the pole everybody remembers what happened there when that trash truck came in and ripped the pole down and you can go back and check that video out if you want but uh, for now it's just uh, rip the bins open let some fresh air in there and then these will go for uh, scrap metal and I know someone's gonna say well you could have reused them but they're rough shape um, or sell them or anything but uh, yeah 
And so this other company is coming in, they're going to bring a stone grinder in and they're going to grind these uh, pads up for me and all the concrete and make a big pile of stone for the new construction. A lot of the stuff is all depending on the prices of uh, lumber. So we might be out. We're, our goal is to pour the concrete for the new foundation here uh, this year and then build next year and see if we can get some of these scrap prices down. And uh, yeah, so construction is going to start in between in the next three weeks pretty much demolition where we're taking things down and uh, I got some guys coming in here and pick up the scrap for me I know I could have sold some of the scrap but uh, when you get guys to help do the jobs it goes a lot better and I help just load it and get it out of here but we've been getting a lot of rain and uh, <coughs> so the ground's good and moist and you can see some of this ground it's really nice earth around here so I'm really happy with that. Excited to see what the yields are. The corn is over my head down there in the bottom. But uh, so, yeah, we'll try to put a video of tearing these apart tomorrow. Uh, we do have impacts and stuff. We can take some of the bolts out and help weaken them up a little bit. But biggest thing is get them in pieces where we can throw them on a trailer and haul it out of here and smash them flat. So the purpose of the holes tonight, just to get some fresh air, a good area to walk in there to work. You can let some daylight in tomorrow. So that's all I have for today. Uh, my update on uh, here for you guys on YouTube. We do put stuff on Instagram a little bit more. Uh, just a quick post. And and uh, once I get things under control here and as more buildings come down. We did take uh, three down so far. And uh, they're cleaned up. And now we're going to take this... 70 by 60 off here uh, starting Wednesday morning we'll pull the tin off and get that cleaned up once and that gives us some more room to work and it allows us to get our barn back off the road and then we can back semis right off the road right back in there uh, when we get shelled corn for cattle this is going to be a beef operation it's going to take about three years to get set up I was planning in two years, but I didn't figure uh, high prices with lumber. You guys know what's going on there. and They say it's coming down, so uh, we're going to make a three-year plan where that allows me to have time to build the, this building. And, <coughs> and we can store uh, corn, shelled corn in there, buy it bulk and stuff like that to feed cattle. And make it our feed room, hay room, and stuff where the big bales can stack up in there. And I think the front's going to be about... Uh, between 18 and 20 feet so we can actually back in so far and then dump a trailer load of corn inside against the wall and uh, or whatever we're feeding the cattle but yeah it's going to be a three year three year uh, project between building this one getting things taken down uh, getting the grain bins up and running and um, I'm going to keep working with these guys that are farming the ground here with me as much as I can it just takes uh, some other things off my plate where I can work just getting the steer operation up and running so as things change I'll bring it along and uh, try to make it exciting I'm not gonna jump around and, and tell you I'm spending millions of dollars on these buildings and stuff it just we're just gonna you know nothing's gonna start construction wise until the lumber prices come down and and we'll tell you a little bit how we're delaying them out in design you'll see it as it changes uh, we did put some areas on the post and stuff and I'll maybe put a picture of what it looks like before the buildings came down and and then uh, halfway when they're down but like I said there's five big trees are gonna come down first these two here so we can get uh, equipment in here to work and then back off the road with a trailer to put these trusses on and stuff so I'm really wore out uh, my voice changes a little bit it depends how hard I work and I'm tired and uh, but I'm excited because this is a whole new uh, a new clean slate we are get to play with and we have 300 plus acres to decide how we're going to handle it and and I have some good friends coming and Mel and and uh, Michelle's dad and and uh, a couple of Amish here are going to help me off and on and to give me good ideas and uh, keep moving forward so for now that's all I have to say and uh, we'll try to keep you posted as a tearing the bins off and uh yeah there's always something better to do but it's helping another guy out 
he went through some trials and taking care of family and stuff so he needs the money and, and as long as he hauls it away I'm happy with it so I wish I could run on top here and show you on the back side of the farm again and but we'll do uh, some drone footage here a video uh, right around harvest and stuff like that and uh, you can see how big this farm is and how it lays if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I know everybody's going to have questions right away because you don't, you know, watch the whole video. But like anything you've seen, those old cars, none of that belongs to me. Those tractors or anything like that. That's just going here. It's going to be gone. Um, we want to we want to run a modern day farm, so that'd be all newer equipment. And uh, yeah, and we do have some new purchase stuff coming and. Uh, we did harvest the rye on the old farm. Uh, that seed is being cleaned and that's coming here to plant on this farm. So uh, our plan is to buy a uh, step deck here and run down and get it and uh, try to bring it along with that a little bit. Other than that, uh, we've been just enjoying life. Uh, my wife has been not working at the you know any hospital. It just took her, you know some good time off with the family. The kids are enjoying coming together and and watching things change on this operation. So. I hope everybody has a great evening and uh, we'll try to have another video on Thursday. Uh, like I said, it's just been hectic here with the weather and stuff, but we've been going down through the middle of the corn there. That corn's six, seven, eight feet tall now. That's going to be some good corn. And then we have a burn pit down there in the bottom of the thing there where we're burning anything like trees and stuff up. Make a pile and then we'll burn it up. So we did have two fires there so far, burning up lumber. We don't need to worry about anything catching on fire that way. So, again, have a great evening, and uh, we'll try to come back to a video on Thursday. And don't forget to check out some of the photos on Instagram. They're on their ELM Custom Harvesting or the Farming Life 1. And we do post on Facebook every once in a while. Thanks again for all your support, guys, and uh, coming along as our journey. Uh, it's never going to be a fast journey. This is going to be a long draw out to get exactly what we need to run our operation for the future. And my goal is it's a five year term, but we'd like to have it up in all the buildings done in three years. And uh, I think we can do that. Uh, just we need to get these prices under control with lumber, which I mentioned many times now. Have a great evening and uh, enjoy the video.